Hello, hello everybody, and we are back with more Persona 5. Now, to everyone who is watching this as I upload, I am very sorry that I haven't uploaded any videos in the last couple of weeks or so. I haven't been very well. So anyway, last session, Okumura died. <laughs> Not great. I kind of freaked out at the end. I wasn't very happy. Um, he had a mental shutdown because he was killed in his palace by someone else. Um, everyone in our team thinks it's our fault. Haru probably thinks it's our fault. She just like, kind of booked and didn't speak to us. So she probably thinks we like killed her dad. Bit rough. Um, we haven't seen the effect of that yet because I ended the session pretty soon after. Like I said, I was pretty fuming about the whole thing. So hopefully we're going to see how that plays out. Yeah, I, th I thought Morgana was going to say that. What in the world's going on? Fuck knows. Oh, what's Igor got? What's Igor got to say to us? He's either going to reassure us it's not our fault, or he's going to be like, you done fucked up. On your feet, inmate. Our master has an important matter to discuss with you. Heed his words well. First, I'd like to congratulate you for expelling the one proud of their greed. Oh, we got expelled, all right. Or so I'd like to say, but something odd seems to have happened. Yeah, he dead. Who knows? I reckon you know, mate. However, don't you sense it? The malicious will of another. It seems a contingency has occurred. At this rate, your rehabilitation cannot be completed. Though I doubt that will be the case. I truly look forward to seeing how you overcome this predicament. What we are now, like rank 8? Ooh, rank 9. Alright. We shall meet again. Time's up, inmate. Hurry up and return to your world. That was very abrupt. I was hoping for a bit more, but okay. Wow. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I thought it was going to go down more, but I knew that was going to happen. Is that true? Did you hear? Okumura died <laughs> of the news. Yeah, it was a fucking live event. He collapsed during his press conference, right? I wish I'd been what? Wow. You need to call your beans. I wish I'd been watching when that person died on the TV. Chill out, man. Seriously. You're probably better off. It was a total disaster. I never imagined seeing a heart attack would be so unsettling. You're witnessing someone die, of course it would be unsettling. The news says it was because of illness, but either way you spin it, it's still bizarre. Damn. Wish I'd seen it live. Listen this time, okay? And in this age, proletarian literature that is, literature written by the working class. Did you see that interview? I thought it was going to be some hidden camera show at first. I was so scared I changed the channel. He really looked like he was in pain. That was sick. I hope they mean sick as in, uh, not sick as in cool, because that's just weird. Will you quiet down? We're in class right now. Not to mention you have but Forgot about that? <laughs> Focus on studying. I will be doing that a lot in the five days before the exams. Shit. <sighs> Things are getting pretty bad. Mm. He 
it seems police have shown up at our school. The police? Four? Your sister hasn't told you about any of this? Nothing at all? Could this be related to Okumura's death in some way? But there's no connection between our school and Okumura Foods. There is, there's Haru. Think they came to talk to Haru? She's absent today. Then seriously, what are they here for? I can't even begin to fathom the reason. Anyhow, let's be particularly careful not to stand out and head straight home once school ends. Yeah, I need to study. <laughs> Desperately. Understand that, everyone? Cough, Ryuji, cough. <sighs> we haven't found anything useful as evidence. I see. <sighs> We're hoping to find something more than the calling card, too. We've confirmed the victim's connection to the Phantom Thieves, at least. Why are they talking about all of this in front of Haru? Thank you for your cooperation. Speaking? Huh? They found a calling card in the principal's office, too. We didn't put that there. We didn't send a calling card to him. So whoever killed Okumura placed a calling card in the principal's office with the intention of framing us for that murder too. The fucking prick. Yes. I'm sorry to ask again, but your father hadn't said anything about the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. Please contact me if something catches your attention. It doesn't matter how trivial it seems. You don't have to force yourself, though. Just anything that comes to mind. The principal? No one told me about that. Yeah, because it wasn't a thing. So basically, your group didn't go after Okumura's life. Oh. And even the death of Shujin's principal, who we found a calling card for, was the work of another. Mm-hmm. You don't sound like you're lying. If you wanted to deceive me, you could have easily woven up a much simpler lie than this metaverse. Moreover, your account coincides with my own investigation. Is that even possible if it were made up? And I hate to admit, but... With my line of work, I know a false testimony when I hear one. Still, if you set your sights on Okumura based on my intel, it'd be before his name was even ranked. You could have ignored him and targeted some other famous person. Why would you go so far as to further investigate and pursue this criminal? <laughs> Simple enough. There's still no proof that another suspect exists. That said, it's safe enough to say that you aren't the murdering type. Social ink galore. All right. Two ranks up in what, 10 minutes? But with the subsequent deaths of Okumura and Shujin's principal, the public's opinion changed. Yeah, they think we're a pile of shit now. Pressed to prove your innocence, your next objective was Hmm? What's the matter? <gasps> Is it a side effect? Um... What's going on? What in the world did the police inject into you? Hey, hey, hey can you, can hear, you me? hear me? You need to stay focused! <sighs> Don't scare me like that. If what you you're were scared! True, you must tell your side of the you story were scared. the end. We'll both be in trouble if your testimony becomes unreliable. <sighs> well then, let's move on. At last we arrive at your most recent crime. Ooh. You know what I mean, don't you? No, <laughs> but I want to know. delivered to your latest target, the one you had decided would prove your innocence. It was addressed... To Sai Nijima. 
myself. Holy shit. We sent a calling card to sign Najima. Now, explain everything Fucking to hell. me. Fucking hell. I did not see that coming. Holy fuck. Guys, that's mental. I really hope we get to see this before I have to stop recording. Has anyone been able to contact Haru? Pretty worried. No look here. Me neither. She won't pick up. It doesn't look like she's seen any of our chats either. <clears throat> I'm worried about her. I think we all are. I hope Haru's okay. You and me both, Morgana, you and me both. Hey! We don't know when we might get a call from Haru, so let's... I want to study! Fine, fine, fine. Uh... You're starting to piss me off, Morgana. If Morgana does this every day up to the exams, I'm going to be seriously pissed off. First note of Kumara died. Is this just a coincidence? Oddly enough it is. On our part, at the very least. Is there an illness that could cause that? Yeah. Heart attack. Nah, no way. I mean... He had a heart attack, but he had, like, black ooze coming out of his mouth, these eyes, so perhaps not. So it was murder. It's terrifying. This might be the biggest event of the century. Somehow I doubt that. Yep, down it goes. Oh, well, at least it's not a Friday. Friday the 13th would just make things even worse than they already are. No, thank you. Oh, she's here. She's here. My apologies for messaging you so early in the morning. Things have calmed down a bit at home, so I thought there's something I need to tell you. Are you all right? Yes. Thank you. Um, there's actually something that's caught my attention. I think I need to discuss it with everyone, though. We should meet at the hideout after school. I want to study. <sighs> Looks like Haru is managing, somehow. Alright, let's meet up with everyone after school. When midterms are over, I'm going to have to hit mementos because now Okumura's heart's been changed. And his heart did change because he was about to confess before he died. Um, the next part of mementos should be open. Was Okumura murdered? But... That broadcast was live, wasn't it? Yes, it was. If it wasn't an illness, then it has to be murder. Didn't he deserve? Didn't he kind of deserve to die anyway? Still, I feel bad for him going out like that. With this. Preparations are finally in place. And this guy is fucking involved. The public has praised them as allies of justice <coughs> before they strike them back to the ground. Now then, she'll be next. Yes, I've already spoken to human resources about it. So I'm guessing that, um... He doesn't want Sai Nijima around anymore because she's directly under him and she's like a straight cop. Like, she will stop at nothing to figure out what's going on, who is the perpetrator. Which means that she could, in theory, link it back to him. And that makes things very dangerous for him. Because then people would question authority and it would not be good. It will be a heavy responsibility. But I'm certain it'd be an honor for her. 
the culprits behind the mental shutdown cases she's been pursuing all this time. <laughs> Indeed. They'll become the criminals we've set them up to be. Just as you instructed. Or... He's planning for her to be like... A martyr of sorts. You know. Um, we'll deal with her. The person who killed Okuma will kill her. And he'll be like, Oh my god. They killed this cop. This... This person who is protecting you all and they're evil evil and yeah this game is getting really good like the story is getting really good and i love it but at the same time i fucking hate it <laughs> because it's driving me crazy it's so damn loud hmm? where's haru She's the one that called us, so she'll show up eventually. I really hope she hasn't ratted on us. Because she thinks that we left her in the dark about sending the calling card to the principal. Well, even though things have calmed down, she must be occupied with what happened to her father. Wait, what? What's up? Unless she's been taken into custody, or she's, um... Best. People are posting that we killed President Okumura. Of course they are. I thought we established this. We've been framed, set up, hook, line, and sinker. So it's begun already. What? Think about it. The CEO collapsed the way he did during an apology conference that our group caused. Still. They were raving about us so much, and now they just treat us like murderers? You don't seriously think they actually believed in us, do you? We were providing a distraction from their boring, mundane lives. That's all we were. A distraction. Entertainment. What a lightning-fast change of attitude. We were like a reality show that they were tuning into. That's all we were. They don't know a damn thing about our situation. They don't care about our situation, Ryuji. Calm down. Not everyone is necessarily saying that. But there's no way to vindicate ourselves. <clears throat> Haru! I'm sorry I'm late. I'm the one who asked you all to make time for me, too. My condolences. Must be rough. I'm okay now. Um, I called everyone together because there was something worrying me. Did you all target the principal? Huh? The principal? You mean ours? Yes. What makes you say that? Yesterday, a public prosecutor came to my home. Um... It was a woman named... Nijima-san. Beth? I overheard her saying a calling card was found in the principal's office. Considering that this was right after what happened, it's got to be Shujin's. It's the first I've heard of it! Ryuji, calm down. Doesn't this all seem weird to you? It may just be my imagination, but I feel as if... Things are escalating far too quickly after President Okumura's incident. What do you mean? Perhaps... We may have been set up by the real culprit. For real? That could be. Then we need to catch them as soon as possible. Hold a moment. Can we assume we've been set up, though? We don't even know their objective. What else are we supposed to do, then? All calm down for a moment. From what Haru said, even the police are suspecting that the Phantom Thieves are murderers. It wouldn't be wise to carelessly make a move at the moment. We need to act as normal students for now. In addition, we have midterms next week. Exams? At a time like this? <sighs> I envy you, Futaba. Futaba? Hmm? Got something on my mind. 
Gonna go home and look into it. I wonder what that could be. At any rate, we need to behave and not draw attention to ourselves. Understood? Mm-hmm. Don't tell me the Phantom Thieves did that to President Okubra. They're heroes. They would never do that. I'd be disappointed if they just turned out to be criminals. It has to be a trick of some kind. They would never do that. I can't think of any other explanation. That has to be it. Go on, how much is going to go down this time? For real? Yes, Morgana, they found a calling card with the principal. It's not, in it's not impossible. Technically, anyone could write one. Let's be serious here. All it takes is someone having a picture of one, the police sneaking one, anything like that. They know what it looks like, they know what it sounds like. They can produce one. People have produ been producing the merchandise for months. This is ridiculous. Why are people doubting the Phantom Thieves over what happened to President Okumura? Because as far as they're concerned, it's the only explanation. They'd never do such a thing. Isn't that right? Absolutely. Yeah, I trust them. Anyway, it seems like everyone's forgotten all that they've done up to this point. That won't stop me though. I'll continue cheering them on. Make sure you tell them that. Well, see you later. Mishima is a bit narrow-sighted, but he's a good person deep down. We can't betray him. Who said anything about betraying him? Please, Morgana! No! Fucking Morgana. <sighs> Get ready for midterms. I freaking can't! Morgana won't let me! Okay, that's not that's not too bad. I was expecting it to drop down to like forty percent. I'm sorry for worrying you, everyone. I won't be able to respond for a little while longer. You don't need to mind us. More importantly, are you going to be alright? I'm okay. I'm more worried about the people at the company, to be honest. It seems everyone's having difficulty with not only clients, but the press as well. They're even handling the preparations of my father's funeral. I just feel so guilty that I'm unable to help out at all. You shouldn't. Everyone understands this is a trying time for you. And we're here if anything happens. I know. I'll get in touch once things settle down. Don't push yourself. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bless that girl. Worrying about others at a time like this. Some people are like that. I bet they killed Okumura to make an example out of him. Impossible. Why else would they kill him during a press conference? I read somewhere that Okumura raised his daughter alone. Maybe he wasn't a great manager, but as a parent I feel for him. Murdering someone to make a point is te textbook terrorism. Like Shido and that Akechi kid say, the Phantom Thieves are a menace. Yep, people are already turning against us. <sighs> Have we been cheering on murderers all this time? It has to be a setup. The Phantom Thieves aren't like that. They're not heroes, they're just criminals. I believe in the Phantom Thieves. They wouldn't do that. 
I'm really disappointed. Were they just lying? <laughs> Who on earth set us up? Does anyone have any idea? I have an idea. I think it's a catchy. Of course not. Okay, so that's very tinfoil hatty of me to say, but he's the only one who's been speaking out against us publicly. I mean, the police are against us because it's their job. We're taking justice into our own hands, which is frightening because then other people will continue to do so and the police will struggle because people will be like, oh, whatever, they annoy me, so blah, 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 blah. And people start thinking that those sorts of actions are okay. In a more extreme point down the line, the police would become obsolete because everyone would have their own view of justice and it would be anarchy. So the police you can understand. Akechi is an investigator, yes, but he is not hired by the police. You know, he wants to catch us, but it just feels like his motive is different. It feels like we've insulted him because we've questioned his view of justice, and I don't like that. If I were to guess, I would say the culprit behind the mental shutdowns. Wait, how do we even know we got set up to begin with? They found a calling card in Principal Kabayakawa's office. Someone else had to have planted that, obviously. In the worst case scenario, it's possible they know our identities. This is bad, guys. Yes, our state of affairs is looking quite bleak. We need to prove our instance. Turning ourselves in will not achieve anything. How are we going to do that, though? It looks like our only choice now is to find the true culprit. Although, we don't have any leads. Damn it, why has this got to happen to us? <sighs> Wish I could prove our innocence, but we can't afford to make a dumb mistake and get ourselves caught. We'll just have to keep laying low and wait. Let's not do anything conspicuous, okay? Hey, sorry for bringing this up when things are so chaotic. I know it's been tough after what happened to President Okuma and all, but this is the perfect time for smaller changes of heart to restore your reputation. Anyway, here's the info I have. If true, this one is pretty crazy. Apparently an ex-mercenary who works as an assassin is hiding out in the Shibuya Underground. He acts like a homeless person during the day, but then goes about his work at night. He hasn't left any trace of his identity though, so there's nothing the police can do. Sounds interesting, I'll be honest. Well, according to the rumours, his name is... Bat. I'm seriously scared. I don't want anything to do with this. I'm leaving this to you. Mm. Mishima really does get some amazing info for us sometimes. How does he find this stuff out? Our reputation may have taken a hit after Okuma's death, but we can still prove our justice in mementos. After midterms. We should discuss this with everyone when we have time. Not today. Oh, and we have to meet up with Haru before we can go in. Yes, I know exams are close. I can give you a general idea of what they were like when I was a second year. Yes, yeah, study together, please. I mean, I know we leveled up not long before I finished recording to take some um, time off for of being ill, but I know we're not going to level up again before the exams. We're level four out of five, I believe, so we're pretty high up there. Trying difficult problems is good. But the most important thing is your fundamentals. Well, how are they? They're good. We're scholarly. Has studying with Makoto deepened your understanding? Sorry, I saw the sentence there, but it took me a second to process. Those are words and I need to speak them. I love how no one hears the cat. Oh, no, we're not scholarly. We're encyclopedic. Ha ha. Alright. 
getting back to the basics is necessary when you're lost in both studying and regular life. This is a great opportunity for me to review as well. Thanks. Okay, let's try a few more complicated problems now. Alright then. Yo. I hear the Phantom Thieves killed someone. It's all over the news. Yeah. No new info. I need to study. Now listen up. Make sure you close up. Can I talk? Yeah, please don't distract me. What are your thoughts? Seems you were able to get a lot of studying done. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Yep. You'll tie yourself out if you keep at it too long. You should sleep for today and get. You could. You should sleep for today and get some sleep, yes. You should stop for today and get some sleep. All it takes is another person dying and that's just gonna crash and burn. It's just gonna go down to zero. So they were just deceiving us. I guess Akechi was right after all. How convenient for Akechi. No, I still believe in the Phantom Thieves. They're murderers, right? Hurry up and arrest them. How long are the police going to let them run loose? This sucks. This sucks. I wonder when Okumura san will start going back to school. I know the funeral's soon. It must be tough organising the funeral for Big Wig CEO. Okumura san is usually pretty quiet. Do you think she's okay? Hard to believe the dad of such a nice girl could be so evil. I didn't expect this from the Phantom Thieves. That was a full blown public execution. Things are looking rough online. They're just calling us a bunch of murderers. All the celebrities who supported us are being criticised now too. It's all gone up in flames. People are posting about this stuff everywhere. I hardly doubt that anyone who supported us did so honestly. There must have been many who simply went with the winning side. I get mixed feelings about this when you put it that way. It does make me rethink a lot of things. That aside, we need to deal with our situation first. Our state of affairs continues to worsen. We can't just sit back and watch this happen. Still, we can't make a move when we don't know any. We can't make a move when we don't have any leads. What are we supposed to do then? Right around when your exams end will be the perfect timing. Uh, for what? Don't worry about it. Anyways, just wait and see what happens. For the time being, let's discuss things after our exams end. Ugh. There's no way I can focus on exams like this. Can you ever? Ooh. Oh boy. Oh, he's gonna throw it at me again, but my proficiency isn't high enough to dodge it. Hey! <laughs> that was great. <laughs> oh my god, that was fantastic. That was perfect. Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, that has just instantly brightened my mood. <laughs> 